how to wrap a dog's paw pad at home. Keep the dog from biting at the wrap. Once the bandage is on the dog's paw, you need to make sure your dog leaves it alone. Keep an eye on your dog and make sure it is not chewing on it. If the dog cannot leave its bandages alone, you may need to put a cone on the dog. By putting a cone on the dog you minimize the animal's ability to physically get its mouth near its bandages. To keep the dog from chewing the bandages, try mixing cayenne powder, paprika, and petroleum jelly. Rub this mixture along the outside of the bandage. Your dog won't like the taste, and it will keep it from chewing the bandage. Change the wrap daily. A wrap should be changed daily in order to keep the area under it clean and healthy. Take off the old wrap by cutting it vertically with a pair of scissors. Then apply the wrap again, with the same method you used previously. Talk to your veterinarian about how often they want the wrap changed, in addition to how long they want the wrap to be applied. Changing the wrap daily allows you to adjust the tightness of the wrap. This can be helpful if the injured area has any increase or decrease in swelling. Inspect the injured area. While you are changing your dog's wrap, you should look closely at the injured area. Make sure that any surface injuries are healing and are not infected. Signs of infection include redness, discharge, and swelling. Also assess whether your dog can move its paw and if there are any signs of continued pain when you are handling the injured area.